Well, good morning and welcome to the tool room. I am dreading working outside today, but we've got to do it. We've got to make a couple uh, kind of job site drafting tables. Built quite a few of these things over the years. One of the biggest problems I've had with them is that they sprout legs and walk off. The other problem I've had is that they are magnets to get run over by bobcats. This thing is just gonna be a down and dirty carpentry project. This is not like fine carpentry. Every time I make one of these things, I start thinking about dovetails and you know mitering you know, the joints perfectly and whatnot. But again, chances are good. It's gonna make it through the job, maybe two jobs and disappear or get run over. To build this thing, you're gonna need a piece of plywood I like uh, three quarter inch BC sanded plywood. It just uh, paints up really nice. And also what I use is I use two by six for the uh, main structure and I rip that in half. The first one I made, I made it out of two by fours and that was just too heavy. Go ahead and pick up three nice and clean two by sixes that you're gonna rip in half and then also pick up some three inch, three eighth of an inch uh, bolts and that's what holds the whole thing together washer both end get hex don't do the carriage because the carriage will spin and also I like to use nylon nuts to hold it together and that's worked pretty good for me over the years let's go ahead and start going outside and let's sweat like a hog and let's knock one of these things out all right so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these in half I just set up the piece of plywood and we're gonna cut the top the top is gonna be 32 by 42 There we go. All right, one last thing to do while we got the saw horses up is we're gonna rip down, rip in half this piece of clear southern yellow pine, and this is gonna sit on the top and actually hold the plans in place. All right, I got everybody marked out. All right, so I got the legs broken down. I'm gonna give you guys some measurements here. Here's what I've got from tip to tip is 47 inches. This end, you need a 15 degree angle. And on this end, you need a 36 degree angle. So you need two of those. This is the hinge end, and this will be on the back of the table, but this will be your front leg, like near your foot. And uh, overall from tip to tip here, the flat part is uh, 56 and 3 eighths of an inch. And uh, the bottom here, this is the part that's gonna touch the dirt, is 30 degrees. And the uh, top part, this is the hinge part. Then I cut a 55 degree angle on the, uh, the top part here. And that's gonna actually enable it to uh, pivot. Now you're gonna need a couple of braces to screw to the uh, top so that um, the legs have somewhere to attach. And those are 30 inches long. Now that we have everything cut down, let's go ahead and sand everything. It just makes it a lot easier when you're painting it. Well, I tell you, 10 minutes worth of sanding will pay dividends in the end. Keeps the uh, splinters out your paws and the inspector's paws. All right, now it's time for some assembly. First thing we want to do is assemble the leg that is fixed together, like the two legs are actually fixed together. So what you're gonna need is your shorter legs and your 24 inch uh, blocks there. Then to assemble it, I'm just using some three inch deck screws. And when you set your legs up, make sure you got everything oriented the correct way. For you guys. Next thing you do is you wanna put on your longer leg on both sides, just like that. And now take your 30 inch board, try to put the rough side that you cut down and put those right there and right there. Now it's time to screw it in. Lately I've just used a little bit of glue as well. Make sure you got her lined up with your marks. There you go. We're just gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put these up here now and we're gonna flush them up at the back. We got everything clamped up here and now we need to drill holes from the inside of the legs and countersink them. Now it's time to put the bolts in. The next thing we need to do is measure from here down 10 and 3 quarters and just put a mark. Set the inner leg up on there. You want the top 
of this leg, the inner leg, to be in line with that 10 and 3 quarter mark. And now you need to measure down 30 and a quarter inches and put a mark. So we got it bolted down. Let's go ahead and take our clamps off. There goes the basset helm. All right, let's see how we did here. Uh, she's going to fold up. And boom. That looks... That's right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a screw through this board right here into the bottom temporarily. All right, that's going to kind of keep it from collapsing when I flip it over. Move the seahorses out of the way. All right, there we go. That looks good. I like it. The last thing to do is to put on the stop bar. The thing I like to do is I like to bevel it so it sits nice and flush up against here. You're going to put this on your front legs. All right, so I got that beveled. Uh, ended up being a 25 degree bevel on there. The other thing I did was I went ahead and I pre-drilled two holes on this so we don't split her out. Let's go and take out your screw holding the top on. And we're almost done. Pick that up. Push that in there. Oh. Well, one thing you guys will always get from me is the truth. And uh, I screwed this up some way. I did a few things different when I built this. Well, like I was saying, this bar is supposed to sit underneath of here. And uh, I guess some way we got our angle wrong. But I think I can live with it. All right, one thing I forgot to show you is uh, I put a couple quarter inch kerf cuts on the bottom side of the uh, keeper here. And that way, if you get any water or anything, you know, this is gonna sit outside. It'll kind of have a little place to drain. Over there. Whew, man, it is getting hot. Oh my God. All right, well, got the second one knocked out. That was pretty quick. Uh, I went back to my original design, which uh, kind of had some squared off edges here. And I'm not sure that might be the difference. Um, something just got a little out of whack. I think, uh, I think this one might be standing up a little taller too than uh, this one. Not really sure, but you know, both of them will do the job. That's for sure. But this one folds flat. Uh, it's a little tighter than my other one. There you go. Just like that. So that's nice. Um, there you go.